Hi everybody, I'm David Lasso. You know at the conventions, we walk around to the dealers and collectors and talk to them about cool numismatic items that they've brought. Well, here at the Memphis Paper Money Show, we went around to talk to them about what kind of cool currency was there. Well, it's pretty simple. I mean, here's a $100 bill. That's pretty cool. Of course, everyone would like to have one of those. But what about the collector value? What about the images on it? What about the history behind it? Again, for our Coin Week viewers, we're going to bring you the stories and the information behind the banknote in another episode of Cool Currency. I have a cool note for you. Okay, it is the Canadian $1,000 bill. And the reason is, Canada issued these notes until the late 1980s, and then they stopped issuing them so that the $1,000 denomination wasn't available for easy transfer of large amounts of cash because of the drug trade. Okay, this issue that I'm holding here in my hand is the 1954 issue that was issued from 54 through to 1988. A long issue, very common. For instance, I had somebody call me from British Columbia just a few weeks ago. They had 75 of them that their deceased relative had salted away in the bank as a way of keeping cash in large denoms. So you can still cash them in. As they hit the bank, they are destroyed. So the population is therefore rapidly diminishing. They're still common and sell for twelve to fourteen hundred dollars, uncirculated, minor varieties a little more, those other common a little less. They will get increase in value, but not enough given the face value that it's worthy of an investment. Tell me about the images on the note. Well, on the note is Queen Elizabeth in her early days. That was the image they carried right through. In 88, they put a newer one, or an older one of her, but a newer image. And uh, those only lasted a couple of years till they uh, ceased issuing the $1,000 bill. On the back is just a rural scene of Canada with a covered bridge, which is famous and comes from my area of, of the country, New Brunswick, because there are many covered bridges. And every two or three years, one of them burns, and that population diminishes and diminishes. And what kind of value? Twelve to fourteen hundred dollars is the retail value. Back during the Civil War, the economy was terrible. It was almost as bad as it is today. Probably really worse. It got so bad they hoarded all of the coinage, silver, copper, whatever, to the point where people had to use postage stamps as small change currency. And what happened? Well, an ingenious guy named Mr. Galt came along and he took and encased the postage in a holder like this and he put a, a uh, merchant on the back as advertisement. So he sold these to the merchants as advertising and they could use them to give out a small change. And the stamp, instead of being all sticky and stuck in your pocket and all the other problems associated with the deteriorating little postage stamp was protected. What kind of value? Something like this and a nice piece that is still pretty decent. A nice VFXF is four to five hundred dollars with a common merchant or a common product. And they continue to go up as the collector buys and people invest in these little pieces of currency. Eventually, what happened? Our government, as slow as it always is, decided to come out and issue a fractional currency to take, because they ran out of stamps. They didn't have enough stamps for currency and enough stamps for postage. So the government had to come in and they issued fractional currency. The same thing used to circulate right after the Civil War. So that's my exciting show and tell. I'm from Jordan, so the interested or interesting note that I would find would be a Jordanian uh, note. Uh, this note here is the 1959 uh, five dinar, uh, King Hussein. Uh, 
I find it interesting because back in the days when we used to be kids and this was in circulations, we wouldn't really be seeing many of it. Uh, five dinar used to be a lot of money when I was a kid. So basically, once you saw one of these, you would hold to it. You would not let go. And that's what I would find interesting about it. And uh, how did the picture of the king change over time? Oh, it has been, uh, it did change a lot. Uh, this is going to say when he was younger. As I said, this is 1959. And they, every time they change a knot, they get a new picture. So it shows, it shows him aging. God bless his soul. He died almost 16 years ago. How much does the note sell for? Uh, I would say around 90 to 110 dollars for the five dinars. This is a, a whole sheet of banknotes. So there are 20 banknotes on this sheet, and if they were to be used, you cut out one of them. Now, what, why were these issued? These were issued to pay the French soldiers. It's basically a French banknote, and then the French army came to the Netherlands to liberate the Netherlands. Then, the, of course, the French soldiers had to be paid. And, the, and they were paid, and as it says on the banknote, on the national domains. So there were the, 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 the crowns taken from the clergy and from the nobility who fled France. Uh, and all the land was worth so much, and they, they reckoned they, then they could issue so many assignats for it. However, they issued many more assignats than there was money in the, in the, in the, uh, in the pocket of the, uh, of the state. And basically, at the end, they lost most of the value. What kind of value? How much this, is, this is 50 souls, and uh, 50 souls is equal to two and a half pounds. And how much collector value? This would roughly be uh, in, in the order of $200, a whole sheet. Uh, let me talk about uh, what we call MPCs. Uh, the MPCs, military payment certificate, is used in uh, uh, for soldiers or uh, during the war for uh, the, uh, the army uh, leaving the state. So they use what we call military payment certificate or MPCs. Uh, some notes like that may worth very little and you can find it in junk box but if it's a replacement note you have to multiply few hundreds few hundreds sometimes few thousands and it's one of the easiest replacement to identify because the replace uh, MPCs they used to have uh, a letter before the serial number and a letter after the serial number the replacement should not have what we call suffix so the, the letter after the serial number is not there. So that's a replacement note of the MPCs. So you can find. What kind of value? This one is of value because they are too consecutive and they are not a lot. Uh, so if you see, they are too consecutive. So maybe you are talking about $1,500. Uh,